I'm Patrice Mears and I'm the owner of DK Bridal and Formal Wear. Okay. Could you tell me, what can you tell me about wedding dresses from its history? Well, basically wedding dresses, they started in the Middle Ages. Back then, um, people used to marry for businesses, businesses to join, countries to join, not really necessarily for love. Um, so the wealthy will wear their best. Um, they would get, um, they used to wear different colors, gold and green, bright colors. Um, the history basically changed in the 19th century where Queen Elizabeth actually got married in a white gown. And that is where the white gown history started in Victorian ages. Okay, and, um, what can you tell me about wedding dresses? What do brides look for when they're coming? They're getting married, they want a dress. What do they look for? Brides look for figure flattering dresses, dresses that speak to who they are. Um, they also look for dresses that are romantic. This is one day in their life that they're going to look exquisite and totally different, you know. Um, so they have different themes and sometimes the dress will go with that theme as well. Okay, do they, um, so when they come, um, the culture from that, do they know? Is it that they're well researched and they know at least they have an idea what they want to wear? Or? Some do, um, but at the time of the consultation, um, we try them all in different silhouettes because you may come in looking for a mermaid gown and in fact you fall in love with a drop waist gown. Um, so it all depends on the bride, what they're looking for and the feel of the dress. Do they have like the say yes to the dress experience? Yes, yes, some do. Um, others just know that this is a gown for them. Price range in terms of the dresses? Price ranges range from 5,000 TT and you can go all the way up to 14,000 TT. In terms of like the style of the dresses, um, can you tell me how it's changed or now, what, what is trending now? What is trending now, you have a lot of lace, um, gorgeous, sophisticated backs, um, sheer backs, we have the keyhole backs, um, sleeves are coming back in now, and well, along with this, the drop waist, the mermaid gowns and A-lines are still hot sets. Okay. Um, in terms of color, mm -hmm. You know, the tradition is white, but you say a lot of changes, at least for Trinidad. For Trinidad, ivory, definitely ivory. Um, that particular color actually complements our complexions um, better than the white. Um, so ivory now is a very big seller, and we're now introducing the blush. So a lot of brides are now coming out of the comfort zone and going into the blush. Okay, so walk me through a uh, consultation. Sorry? Walk me through a consultation. I come okay, in. you come in for a consultation and we sit down with you. We go through what you envision for yourself on that day. Um, we go through your colors um, and then what you are looking for. Then we start you in a different silhouettes, including the silhouette that you are looking for. And we try you on a different colors. We try you in white, the ivory, the blush and then we gather from that what looks good on you and what does not look good on you. Um, so you're saying, how important is having the perfect dress on your wedding day? That is it. I mean, on that day, you, you are center stage, you and your fiance on that day. Um, so that gown speaks to who you are and speaks to what you are all about. It's the one day in your life. So you have to get it right, basically. You have to get it right, yes. Because, it, I mean, pictures are there forever. So you're going to look back into your, your pictures years after and see, well, you know, yes, this gown was wow. Everybody spoke about my gown. It really flattered me. Um, it makes a statement. Okay. Um, do you have dresses with different cultures? Just right now we have for basically the normal culture, the East Western culture. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, in terms of the, you spoke about, you know, people want lace, what about bling? Oh, definitely. Some come for simple um, and most of the gowns, they have Swarovski crystals on them. So you have the bling and you have the elegance and romance in these dresses. Um, so it's a lot of combination. I mean, you may come in looking for bling and then see something that's very simple or lace that is just speaking to you and then you decide that this is your gown. So shows like Say Yes to the Dress, um, 
Pinterest and different social media sites, do you think that has um, influenced when a bride saying, this is what I want, this is the look that I want? Sometimes, um, but at the end of the day, this is your day, and this is not a movie, but this is your movie. Um, so brides, some are influenced by the say yes to the dress because they may want to have the whole say yes to the dress experience of crying. But if that is not who you are, then you're not going to get that experience. You're going to experience what you are all about, what your dress is about, and what your day is going to be like. Is it busy during this wedding season right now? Well, we're in June, okay. so now is a quiet time. Um, you would, ex you would kn know that by the peak time is really March, April, May, coming up, the days coming up to June, because brides should really have their wedding dresses at least seven months before their wedding. Um, so now you will find that things are a little quiet. Brides who are coming in now will be those who are getting married in August, November, and December. Seven months as in, okay. Mm -hmm. what do you do alterations? We or? do alterations as well. We do cleaning of the dresses um, and steaming and on the day services of dressing the bride. Okay. Uh, what if the like, bride lost like, this massive amount of weight? And That's fine because before at the old, um, consultation, we find out from the bride one time as well if she intends to lose weight and how much weight she intends to lose so that we can gauge as a consultant um, the sizing that we should order and the type, whether a zip back or a corseted back. Um, if she loses the weight, we are happy that she does because she must look perfect on this day. Mm -hmm. And we do the alterations so that the dress fits her perfect. This is a dress that bride is looking for. Um, in terms of, you said the fit is important? Yes, it is. This is a Sophia Tolley gown. And this is, the color of this is actually ivory. This gown is a drop waist. It is lace on top. It's a very sophisticated, fitted gown to the top, up to your hip area, and then a gentle flow from your hip area come down. All right, the bottom of the gown is organza, and in between the gown is Swarovski crystals. Um, so it has that fitted flare, fit and flare that brides are looking for, and the elegance of the lace. Okay. Um, um, in terms of the back, um, right. This gown is a corseted back, so this is actually easy and it fits and holds the bride properly. So this is a gown here and this is corseted. Mm -hmm. So you say if it is she loses weight or something like that, um, you'll be able to adjust it? There will be, the corsets are easier to adjust because it's just a matter of pulling you in a little tighter. Mm -hmm. If she lo loses a lot of weight, then of course we take in the dress, the size of the dress and the corset will do the rest.